all the name was. Why is that lit up? Huh. Nice spooky Atmo. Papa is supposed to be dead. Where the hell is this music coming from? Sounds so close. This baguette music. A uh, dog. Bad dog. I guess one of them? No, the music is just playing. What's going on? All these puppets look utterly down, depressed even. That seems weird. That's weird, right? Oh, don't worry about it. They're free XP now. Damn, I realized I didn't use my puppet string at all in that fight. <laughs> didn't even use it. This game, this game gives you so much stuff to work with. They're king dead. They, they seem lost. Then again, maybe him? whatever's happening. It's like they can't tell their elbow joints from their tail sockets. I'm not even sure they can function without the king to guide them. Be smashy, don't worry. That's definitely where we gotta go. Let's go back here. <laughs> Big bonks for everyone. Lock, sword, blade, and handle. Yo, what do we have here? It's a tech weapon. It's like an umbrella. Bell of provocation and storm slash. Slash an enemy in front of you multiple times. Briefly taunt surrounding enemies to increase the attack of both the character and the enemies. It's like the minute hand of a clock. Or the hour hand or something. Cute. I haven't found a weapon that I, I absolutely love that makes me want to switch to decks. I'll be I'll be open and willing. When it does happen, though. I'm down to play the game a completely different way. 
Right now, Smash Lord, uh, working out pretty good. Lord Bonkenstein. here? Nope. The boy who would bonk. These are people. What the hell are you? What the hell are you? What the hell are you? Shortcut. Later on. Making sure. Locations have been pretty great so far, man. I won't lie. The, uh, the locales in this game have been pretty sick. Oh man, I have a ton of people I need to talk to. Holy shit. Go chat them up. What the hell? There's something I want to tell you, Geppetto's puppet. Please come to the hotel garden on the way to Elysian Boulevard. Huh? I need to talk to you, though. Welcome, good sir. At last, we speak frankly, instead of with professional reserve. I have something to confess. Something involving your unique perspective. I am a puppet whose ego has awoken. I don't know exactly why, and we need not dwell on the details. Instead, I wish to dwell on the welfare of Lady Antonia. I... adore... Lady Antonia. It is a presumptuous feeling for a puppet to have, to be sure. I have no intention of putting myself forward, of course. However, I cannot watch her die. It's too painful. Thus, I need your unique perspective. You exist somewhere between human and puppet. Can a puppet and a human fall in love? Have you ever met a puppet who loves a human? It exists indeed. An unbelievable love, to be sure. I have no intention of telling her, of course. It wouldn't be proper to burden someone so frail. If I may be frank, this is better than I dared hope. 
Even if you are telling me a sweet lie, I shall savor it. Thank you. It was wise to confide in you. Thank you for granting me that wisdom. The ergo is whispering? Whoa. That's different than your strings. No matter what fate brings us, I will be at Lady Antonia's side. Serving her is my duty. The very reason I was created. Welcome to Hotel Krat. Interesting that there's a different side of becoming human between your ergo and your strings. Uh, what have you got for me? What's new in here? This looks like the same stuff. Right? The stalkers are Kratz vigilantes. There are two groups of them. The bastards and the sweepers. The bastards Wrong shop. are an organization of guards for the alchemists and the workshop. Motto, honor or nothing. The sweepers are an organization of guards for the old families of Krat. Motto, we always repay what is owed. Historically, the relationship between the two groups has been turbulent, but most were killed in the puppet's full-scale attack. That is what little I know beyond the hotel walls. May I serve you in some other way? I thought I clicked on that one earlier. I guess I didn't. At the house of Vanini, Master Vanini carefully curated this collection box himself. With it, you have returned to us what was stolen. You have our gratitude. The house of Vanini always keeps a few special items in the private reserve, sir. Only for our more discerning patrons, of course. The house of Anini, even. What the hell do we have? Balance crank. Uh, so we have a couple more motivity cranks, which is a great tech crank, balance crank, tech crank. Enhances guard performances. Cool. Tyrant murderer's dagger blade. What? Tech weapon. Make a shank. An amulet that can be equipped on a puppet increases damage inflicted on carcasses? Oh, it's against the blue blooded guys. I guess I should grab that right now. Seems like a good time. Damn weird zombie shits. Ah, I heard you defeated the King of Puppets. Amazing. Ah, the puppets appear lost without their leader. They have no purpose, no focus. To think one can have so much control through ergo waves. If we don't determine who or what is causing it, this could all happen again tomorrow. I fear I must call upon you again, my friend. Please gather records of the puppet's ergo waves while you're defeating them. I know my way around a Welcome back to the stage of history. Half moonstone now. A uh, full moonstone. What is happening? I don't think I can add motivity to this, or can I? Unable to alter any further. Yeah, that's it. You get to do like one thing to it. Okay.
A great weapon calls for a great warrior. Whoa. The Puppet Ripper. Oh, man. What the hell? Oh, Legion Arms ability. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But, dude, this is insane. All Legion Arms ability tier plus one. Holy crap. That's so good. That's so good. It ups all the scaling one letter grade. I see, I see, I see. I think I'm gonna buy the Puppet Ripper. Damn, it looks cool. <laughs> okay. That is that. Okay. Dude, it's so big. It like actually whips around. Wow. The damage is crazy low right now. This is a sick weapon. You have an R1 to R2? Oh, you do! Wow. You have an R2 to R1? Not really. Looks like a fun weapon, man. Welcome back to the stage of history. disease locks people inside a cage inside their own bodies we're all safe thanks to her sacrifice but i wish for a miracle to save everyone me as well i'll use my power to help i still gotta talk to her to 20.
Big cutscene. you come closer won't you when you reach a certain age it's a comfort to reflect on old memories that's a portrait of me when i was young <laughs> i was so feisty so fierce back then i loved the world and the world loved me back the passion of those days is long gone but I still dream of those memories. I'm curious what your young eyes see. Is there any resemblance between me and that portrait? Do I still have this? There is nothing left? <laughs> it seems to There is nothing left. <laughs> wow. Beautiful memories are still vivid in my mind. Time. Time and the memories that fill it are all we have. I hope you're making some good memories of your own. It may be a comfort to you someday. have no idea so many secrets. Thanks for keeping me company. Yeah, I'm starting to see like there's more of a robot side with the ergo and more of a human side with the the lying stuff. A chandelier. Oh nuts. Okay. Carcass Butcher's Amulet. Uh, Alright, here we go. The Bramble Curved Sword Handle is uh, a dex handle. I don't know if it's going to help me too much. Oh, I have to go to the coin tree. Damn it. Very good. Yo, grow cap, thank you. Damn, I almost forgot about that, that the tech and beta and, uh, tech and beta <laughs> and the friggin' Spider-Man game come out at, like, the same time. Always, is this different from a generic Souls-like? Well, number one, it's Pinocchio. Right, it's a Pinocchio story. What is this? We have a... something here? Yo, uh, Wilkin, thanks for the Prime, dude. Yeah, there's got to be something with what's-her-name. Has to be some sort of resolution to her being there. Oh, there's another 
record. Uh, she's also dead. Red actress's locket. Fascination. I think the locket is a... A small locket that was given commemorative token. It holds a portrait of a pale girl stabbed repeatedly by a knife. The sisters exchanged lockets as a sign of their friendship. The elder sister was pleased to stand... To always stand on the... Something of our dreams together, your loving sister. Huh. Well, that's something. Missed a path below in the chandelier. I don't think I did. The uh, the chandelier. About got to go back to the area under the flaming chandelier. No, I didn't. I went there. There is a locked door down there. Um, there's an infinity door that we don't get access to. Not yet. Missed something there. Chad, you realize if this isn't worth it, we're going into mod mode. This is like a dim ergo piece. We're going into mod mode. Realize this, right? You're not playing the game. We only have, we on the mods will only be the only ones able to talk. Not looking for stuff I missed. Because I went down here. Oh joy. Damn, it had armor. That, did, that seemed to do a lot of damage. Alright, so dim ergo. Not looking good so far. Another dim ergo. Oh god. You guys got healed from that? They're so hard to hit. I'm gonna die from this. Crap. Crap. Disruption Junction. Ah! Guess I'll just die. I guess I'll just die. <gasps> We're not nuking the chat yet. If there's nothing of actual value down here, yeah, nuke them. Christ. Okay, I need three levels to actually hit him. I got myself in a diddly of a pickle here. Oh my Christ. Dude, I can't even... I'm stuck. I'm stuck on something.
I really it, it better be worth coming back here or else if it if it isn't worth coming back here uh it's gonna be one week bans for anybody that's backseating just a solid week figure out how many minutes that is This, this shit better be worth it. I'm not here doing a completionist run. Definitely not. Crazy this is a respawnable enemy. It just does so much goddamn damage. What the hell? This is the last weapon. Well, that didn't work. Doesn't work. I guess that's not the right one. stop that please stop all right your moment this doesn't have like a phone booth in here or something here we go test body subject better than expected the ergo coordination physical sensitivity and modification adaptability figures all successful good ask for better results all that's left is to make a decision i won't be able to undo my crime i don't regret it i've come too far to regret it I'm ready to become a god or a devil. I just hope that the owner of the body finds peace through this revenge. Perhaps this prayer is a remnant of my last bit of humanity. They talking about the boss? Oh my god. Was a shortcut. It was a shortcut. Right. Was a shortcut. Moment of truth. Costume or a weapon? Nuke him. <sighs> the, the Vanini decoder thing. I could have not gotten that and it, I don't think it would have been the end of the world, but we'll, we'll find out, right? I'll, uh, I'll chase this rabbit hole any, even further.
I, mean, I was I was having a good time, you know, figuring out stuff on my own. I really was. I was having a I was having a good time. Just missing some doors here and there. The portrait hanging in Geppetto's room. It looks very much like you. Yes, it does. I sense something strange. Something like the changes you're going through. The sort of thing you'd read in a fairy tale. Go to Geppetto's room. You should see it for yourself. Wait, what? Yo, wait, what? I always welcome friends. No trouble at all. I almost consider it my oldest hobby. Trust me, I won't let you down. There we are. A deciphered cipher just like, well, just like I used to make. If you ever need me to help you decode another man. All right. Check the ground at the end of the Cliff of Crot Central Station Street, where there is a good view of the ocean and Crot landmarks. That's back at the start. A shorthand report. I'll give you as much money as you want. Just let me out. It's my duty to protect you. Please follow the directions. There are puppets everywhere. Where do you want me to go? Crot Central Station. If you failed to escape, head to Frangelico Cathedral. Archbishop Andreas is accepting refugees gonna survive that's in god's hands just in case they built extra equipment by the beach by the train station there you can do your repairs we're counting on you mel malampo let's go talk to dad really fast see what that's doing there's a ton of secrets in this uh-oh uh oh, the kitty actually likes me now. Uh oh, my strings? No strings. Weird. Kitty likes me now. Um, again, Bloodborne became one of my favorite games ever because I went back and discovered all the things that I missed. Ah, I'm glad you're here, my son. Have you seen that painting? I can't believe my eyes. It's almost as if something is growing out of the portrait. I remember commissioning that piece from an artist named D. Gray. Like all artists, he was eccentric. He claimed that a painting could harbor a living soul. But how can that happen? Dear N. Gray? Just like the fairy tale. It's a Japanese rock band fan? Give a foolish man his ramblings. Perhaps the seed of its growth was there all along. I know you're curious, so see for yourself. I have... What the shit? Huh. I guess that's how much I've lied. How do you know that band? Dude, I used to be a weeb. Chill. How do I know who Deer and Gray is? I, I don't know. I lived in the 2000s. I don't know. I used to be a weeb. Chill. I just find it shocking. <laughs> I mean, I don't know much about them. I just know they existed. Um... Okay, let's let's head out to some spot. Another stargazer. Oh, you still want to talk? You're back. I was so worried when you marched off to fight the king. But this it's a necklace from the Mona Charity House. They took care of orphans and impoverished children from across Krat. Many of those children grew up at the Rose Estate and became alchemists, technicians, and stalkers. I hope the king didn't harm any of them. Or don't tell me. The king's ergo is actually... Are you okay? 
You look ill. Ever since I mentioned the necklace. By heavens, you look... My hair changed. Almost human. If this is what you want, just keep behaving. Keep feeling like a human does. You might just hold the true secret of Ergo. I'll use my power to... What the hell is happening? Carlo. What the hell? Oh my god, some bloodborne ass bloodborne hair. Damn, those hair physics though, shit! Wow! Wow, that's amazing! Damn, they really focused on the hair, holy crap! Game's sick. Alright, game is sick. Holy crap, that's amazing! Take us out of sub mode! Jesus Christ, chat! Um... No, no, nominee, thank you. Uh, starting in the game myself and loving it. The, the game's mechanics are similar to Sekiro. I'm having more fun with it than with all the different weapon combos. Shine on. Yeah, the nice part is that it obviously, it takes, it's obviously Souls-like and Bloodborne-like and Sekiro-like in many ways, but then it also does a ton of new shit. So that's, that's dope. Um, Prot Central Station, Sasani, Sarasani Alley, I think is where I want to go. I think there's something down here. Oh, it's raining still. I believe Out this was alone? it. To be completely honest. Worry about those right now. Jesus, the hair! Wow, the her. Uh, we gotta get over there a bit more. Over there with the her. Oh, the puppets are still acting funky. Don't remember exactly what was over here. Gotta look around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe? Hotel Crot. I do love this view. It is a nice view, but we must be moving. Right. And I'm here. Don't I need to get something? is this check the ground at the end of the cliff of crot check the ground oh there's an emote for check ground let it work and this right The 
The atoned hunting apparel? You got lucky. You stupid sons of bitches, you got so lucky. You got so lucky. Oh, you stupid sons of bitches, you got so lucky. God damn it. Oh, you're so fucking lucky, it's the best looking costume. I can't believe how lucky you are. Can't believe it. Thanks, chat. I look like I got taller, too. I look like I grew up a bit. Yeah, right? I, I kind of see in that. Looks like the character actually aged some. That's cool. Game's pretty sick, man. Game is pretty sick. Oh, God. Yo, Muffin, thanks for the 84. Idle Shade, thanks for the Prime. Starving Narcissus, thanks for the six months. Did you just duck? I just ducked the red attack, yeah. I just ducked it. Lorenzini Arcade. Alright. Let's just keep going. X James, thank you. I can't get any cool hats. Like, no kidding, man. I have not found a, a, an interesting hat yet. No shit. Ain't got no hats. And I have no idea which way I gotta go now. That's the way we came. Need to get a baseball hat of some kind. How's it going? He's smashy. to Bango. Bango. Learns in the arcade first floor key. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think the corpse damage thing is equipped. like a special door. Ouch. Holy sweet Jesus. Boy, smash! Oh, God! Huh? It's a weird lamp. Hey! Convenient. Mmm, homo machina. Game met Mate, thank you.
This one's a large blunt. Let's try this for a little bit. Fucking do it. Called it. Oh, this does very good against these enemies. Okay, you just... Hang out down there. Whoa, 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 why are you talking shit? God. Wait, these are people in here? Oh my god, what the shit? They look terrible. Get a job. as I expected. Dang! Yeah, dude. A uh, slash type really messes with these dudes. What are looking at? God, no, 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 no. I want this more than even that. I hear something growling and I don't like it. What did I get out of that? Something huge? Something's walking around and causing dust. There's a half moonstone? Nice. Okay. No, oh, man, come on. God. Why is she so bulky? Huh? Why is she so bulky? Yo, Game Mate, thanks again for the thousand bits. Jeez. Dude. Sec chat. Figure out where the hell I was. Um, dickhead enemies show up still. Oh, good. Oh, my God, leave me the fuck alone. Baraka, get away from me. Yo, Chalcedonia, thank you again for the 10 gift subs. Thank you very much. No, because I chose the wrong way to go. This wasn't it. Indeed, was not it. Ow, 
Christ. Still can't kill that guy with one jumping slash. I don't like it. Holy shit, I forgot! Oh my god, what are you doing to me? Holy good shit. stuff back now. Kids. That's right. I'm like, what the fuck did I get killed by again? Thing. God. Oh, it's wine. Okay. Seems right. Oh my god, the health on your ass. What is that about? I think they're done. Always think they're done. There we go. Slap them. Oh my god. Lotta F250. dead. Or defense. It's all good. All good. Oh, the door opened. I'm shocked. I had to kill it.
You're invited to the concert being held at the Monod Charity. Pray for the successful opening of the exhibition. Children sponsored by the Monod Charity House have a message of love for and hope for all of you. Don't miss the chance to listen to the most innocent performance in all of Krat. All profits of the Promise of the are less fortunate neighbors. Seems nice. Okay. Underground passage. Tweak, thanks for the tier two. It's gonna ambush me to the left or right. Nothing. Let's go. This looks like a friggin' blast. Just a friggin' blast. That's a big boy. What are you supposed to even be? Shit. Oh, there's so many of you. That. Dude, what is this Cthulhu looking bitch? Recovering your life? You are! This dude is recovering his life! And they're both walking towards me! That's a terrible idea. Time to panic look for... Oh my god. Time to panic look. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my god. You can chill. No! God damn it. Thank god. I can kill those guys. Just in time. Just in time. Get underground passage. Hey, what are you doing here? Who are you? A lost visitor? Or a looter who's arrived too late? You look like a stalker. Stalker, visitor, looter, I don't care. Guess these guys aren't related. F circular electric chainsaw blade. That looks familiar. Increases resistance to disruption, shock, and break. Well, I'll, I'll take all of these. This thing looks familiar. Shit. 
Jesus. It's like a pizza cutter to me. Don't mess around with that. It has, uh, it uses advance as it's scaling. Oh, shit. So we'll have to check it out back at the training. Crown Prince of Heist, uh, the few citizens of Krat do, do not know who V is. The Crown Prince of High Society, a man who came up with the Grand Covenant of the Automated Puppets and built the best manufacturing company at the age of 18. A man who's always fancied his passion by making people laugh. V is the most hated and beloved man in Krat, but his innocent passion makes even his opponents Vanini sentimental. However, even fewer people are aware of the tragedy he experienced in his youth. The true nature of the depths of V's parents was covered up officially. They're victims of homicide during a mugging. Even though V experienced such tragedy in his youth, he grew up with a cheerful personality and became a well-known person uh, whom any parents would be proud of. However, there's no one who knows that V secretly requests for the case history every year and that his request is always denied. Suspicion surrounded this tragedy at the time and there is known to have been pressure from the workshop and the alchemist throughout the investigation. The most interesting hypothesis is, is that the murderer is not human. If this is true, it explains the workshop and the alchemist's suspicions, uh, suspicious attempts to cover it up. It also explains how V was obsessed with investigations or inventions and success from his youth. This is where the real tragedy of Krat lies. Even V, the richest and most influential in all of Krat, can't come close to their power. On the other hand, the fact includes another truth. State censorship is keeping me from writing it, but as a writer, I'm curious if people are ready to accept the truth. The truth that there's a murderer made of steel that walks among us. Perhaps our world of crud is not such a safe place after all. Venin. Where'd that big boy go? Not you again. You're not done. Whack, don't come back. Sorry. You just have to try really hard. Oh God! Oh my God, his arm came off. Jesus. Yeah. 
Damn, and his head came off? Whoa! You can cut off different parts of their body parts? That's incredibly cool. The last hit was actually in the head, too. Sick as hell. Did I go down here? Came from here. Yeah, I came from here. No, uh, weird physics on bodies, right? I went through here, did I not? So. Yeah, we couldn't get back there yet. Okay, okay. Yeah, sorry, no ragdoll physics. Can't make soup out of your enemies. There's two sides to this? Totally turned around. So we got to go to the lower one. Actually, I think we got to go back. We got the key. I actually have to go back to that stinky room. Yo, Skinner, thanks for the 50 months, dude. Stinky. Whoa! Ah, so there's a thing causing the stink. Terrible. What am I hearing? The greatest show on earth, the biggest show on earth is coming to Krat. Introducing the grand exhibition in Krat City tomorrow, the center of a new age. State of the art ma machines, balloons spread across the sky. A popular performance that toured from across the great desert in the south of the country. To the country in the Far East, don't forget the essence of the automated puppet. The center of Krat's revival, the greatest show awaits you all. Don't miss your chance to see the following exhibition. Puppets of the Future, Multipurpose Puppets, Benini Tram, New Butler Puppets, Special Exhibition Gallery, Treasure from the Far East. Wish to behold these splendors, be sure to attend. So it's like their World's Fair. I don't like these tables. Locked all these dudes up. Holy shit! Look at this fucking weirdo. Oh my god! Look at this tracking weirdo. Let's 
This is fucked up. Okay. Um. Okay. Do these clown ass mini bosses are truly where some of the challenge resides? Not this way. It's the other way. Yeah, there's a lot of enemy variety in this game, I've noticed. Like, quite a bit. See you later. Dark Moon Moonstone? Hell yeah. Probably upgrade this sword now. He's come back. Okay, my god damn. Spear of honor, blade, and handle. Yo, what are we talking? Tech weapon, killer attack on rush swing. That's one hell of a spear. Yes. Yeah, it seems like this game is actually very ham on tech weapons. Seems like technique dex is maybe the way to go. Super cool.
Okay, how the hell do we get back to that one spot? Was it all the way down there? Yeah, I think it was. <coughs> did I miss this hallway? I did. Place is getting opened up. Yeah, is Dex actually related to more mobility? That's really cool. Come on. I'm not gonna deal with your shit. Big, stupid guy to deal with down here. I have an idea. It's this puppet guy. No, I can't pull him all the way over here. Shit. Not fucking done yet. They killed him? What the hell? I mean, thank you. They killed him? Like each other. Oh, it's this one. Increases the ergo acquisition when killing enemies. Well, that seems nice. Mine are slightly heavy now. I don't think that's a problem, though, right? I'm still good. Under 80% is fine. Yeah, I'm not really fat rolling exactly. Dude. Sound though. Isn't the old woman of uh, the uh, venerable lady looking for some wine? You know, like the wine you've got. Jesus, where was that at? Oh my god, we'll be able to. Actually, we don't even need to worry about it. The game will tell us when we get back to the Stargazer.
tight. You guys drop something in here? They're all stuck in this box. There was a Bloodborne sound effect there. opened up this one? Yeah. Oh, that looks like a boss fight to me. Alright, let's go drop these souls and uh, do this side quest really fast. Looks like a boss fight to me. place was a maze. Uh, we went through it pretty well, I guess. I liked it a lot. It was fun. Gentle, thank you. Strider, what's up, man? Skinner Beard, Dominic. Uh, who took my key? Tweak. Darko Legacy. Big Mick. Fake Keyblade. Mega Trojan. Aeromance. Chelsea Thanks again, everybody. Where were you? Shit. Oh my god. Okay, hang on a second. Guys, please. There you are. Ah, lovely wee. Even in the bottle, it has a distinctive shade of red. Pinbacker and Matthias, thank you guys. Thank you, young one. Every step is a struggle when you have the petrification disease. But this, this dear happier days is priceless. Oh, why you almost forgot. They're speaking of price. Here's what I can spare. Please, take it. Benini commemorative coin. It's a ring. An old commemorative coin. Thank you, gift from the old lady at the window. It's engraved with Benini's face. Benini commemorative coins were meant to, were minted for limited edition sale for the Benini fan club. It was a magnificent event attended by Krat Socialists. Really? So you're telling me if I go back to Vanini, he'll give me something special? Stop coughing, lady. <laughs> I'm talking here. Maybe. Maybe. the 
house of Vanini. Strike a light. You'll find a commemorative coin dating from the founding of the Vanini Foundation. The Foundation is a sort of fan club, sir. A very limited number of these were minted for the original members. Well, once Master Vanini established himself as the <clears throat> Prince of High Society, his popularity skyrocketed. And his signature coat and glasses were mass-produced. This is one of the originals, however, from the limited run. Take care of it, won't you? You have restored Master Benini's lost collection. You've earned this small token of appreciation, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I need half moonstones to upgrade, right? Upgrade mats I can get here. Except those cranks. I know my way around. Dude, I need full moonstones. Full. But my big pipe can get upgraded. It's getting buffer. My God. At the house of an. I should probably buy all these too. I'll use my power. Oh, we got vitality up. It's going up three points each now. Big bonk boss weapon. Keep the flam batter, John. Just to see. Oh, we gotta get the, the coin, coin trees about the blossom. Yeah, I should probably go check out the uh, pizza cutter's move set as well. All of its bonus stuff. On Blizzum. Blizzum already. Can I upgrade my arm? I'll check. I don't know if I can. Twitching a little bit. Zinfix, thank you. Oh, I did get it. Jeez. 
Jesus, that is so sick. Oh, I can't even upgrade this thing. Damn it, I have to save this shit. I don't have an extra plug yet. All right, here we go. Let's see what this is all about. Yeah, the arcade's actually really big with only one stargazer. Everything always makes its way back around. It's interesting. Oh, I didn't check the pizza cutter move set. Damn it. Go bonk, boss. Uh, if I can remember. Right? Wrong. Right. Cool. The grand exhibition theme was automatic puppets and city of the future. The plan was to showcase and demonstrate the most advanced technology in Croft. But you know the rest. You can't hold an exhibition in a city that's fallen into utter chaos. And now the whole city is an exhibition of a nightmare. Cool. I love this song. <laughs> You guys have swords? Well, the dog got it, that's for sure. Huh. I actually thought this was gonna be a boss, and damn, we are... exploring. Hit me again, I dare you. Ow, he hit me. I see dog. Deal. Damn, the explodey feels good. A lot of shark shock cartridge. Can enhance resistance to shock. I guess the game is trying to tell me something. Damn, it's up nine points in weight. But it's way better. Make my ass slightly heavy. His legs up there. Well, I'm glad I came over here. Dude dropped a unique item. I have to find a way to turn this music off. Is 
the Vanini trolley. Don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit. Nice. His hair. <laughs> Game doesn't know how to process that. No wind resistance in here. Kind of looks like the beginning of the game. Yeah, I, I mean, I'll be real. Uh, this game feels like a Souls game. It doesn't feel like a Souls... It doesn't feel like a Souls-like. Oh! 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 This does not feel like a Souls-like. It feels like a Souls game. Through and through, they did it. You know, like a lot of other devs have tried, right? And but they end up making a thing that, okay, it's like, uh, like Neo was obviously a response to all the Souls stuff, and it was like, okay, I see what you guys are doing, but it's clearly more Ninja Gaiden than like a Souls game. Clearly, I think that's a good way. I think that's probably the best compliment that I can also give the developers of this is, yeah, yeah, this does not feel like a Souls-like. It just feels like a FromSoft game. It's like I'm just playing a FromSoft game right now. Combat feels good. Combat feels great. You ain't normal. <laughs> you found out that Souls games and Souls Light games are two separate things? Yes, ab absolutely. There's a lot of games that took inspiration from like Miyazaki and FromSoft games 100% and they're Souls likes. They are not Souls games. Souls games are specifically like FromSoft stuff. And you can even you obviously Bloodborne can be boiled in there for sure, but you can even have room for um like Sekiro to a degree. But Armored Core is not. Armored Core is not. That is a that is a different thing. That is an Armored Core as Armored Core game. A lot of modern design principles added to it, you know? This plays more. This actually, yeah, you know what? To, yeah, I, I was saying the same thing. This doesn't play like Bloodborne at all. I mean, I could be doing maybe a different build, but like the, the speed of which combat is in Bloodborne is really different on every weapon, even heavy weapons, you know? I've been using heavy weapons throughout this entire time, but even heavy weapons in Bloodborne, you are fast as shit.
That doesn't seem like fun. Oh, can you come over here? Yes. Ignore me. Seriously, just ignore me. I got him. Damn, I hit him like through his shield. Holy hell. I hit him through the shield. that tech crank nice that unlocks that shortcut cool I saw that one earlier Strength amulet. Eh? Oh, I was looking for strength. Yeah. Cool. Plus four is a chunk. All right, we got this side unlocked. We went down there. Let's go down here. God damn. God damn. Stop it. Stop it, you. Is he gonna come to life? Ah! This is what a Roomba looked like to these folks.
Oh, we clearly missed something. Yeah. There's like a ladder here. Shit. Clearly something else down here. I wonder if these things... No, oh, the other enemies didn't disappear and they respawned. I was thinking that might have been it. Damn, what a cool looking level. Look at this bitch. Just walking up to me and shit. Look at this guy. Like on fire. That's unfortunate. I think there's a pathway I missed down there. I don't think so. Good. Fucking God. What is this shit? What the hell? What the hell do you think you are? You can't walk off? Of course you can. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Ow! Yeah, I think I'll just pick out everything that I haven't been throwing. You know, I've used like a couple of throwables. I'm just going to equip all that shit down here. I'm going to stick it all like right down here. I'm just going to chuck everything I got. Saw blades. A chain that can be swung powerfully. Yeah, sure. A shot putt. You know, I'm just gonna throw all this shit at him. That big guy dead? Yeah, he ain't coming back. Oh god, there's a chest! Glad I picked that up.
Game is trying to give me information. I wanted this for me. And that. And that. And that. And this, you piece of shit. Wow, that was a difficult fight. Don't lock on. I was trying to save all these items till the next game. But I clear I felt like the game was giving me a sign. Right? It was like, here's these electric canisters. I'm like, oh really, huh? Oh really, huh? Bridge? Did I miss an item down there? I guess I did. Killed all of you. Champion Victor has returned. The man who stood the pinnacle of life, Champion Victor has returned. Do you remember the great wrestler Victor, Hercules of Krat, the man who never backed down, even pitted against a lion and a bear? The veteran who painted the circus with your cheers and applause? Victor is coming back to us. Victor's incurable illness that came suddenly a few years ago sat in all Krat citizens. Everyone learned that he's human after all. All fate can be avoided, but with the help of alchemists and medical science, Victor is back from the dead. The illness can't be bothered. The illness can't bother him anymore. The steel-like will and superhuman power that def defied fate? The world's strongest man, Victor, is coming back to us. His big return match is with none other than an automated puppet. This f coming full moon... Witness what's sure to be a legendary moment of a man who stood a pinnacle, besting even a machine. Only a few spots left. Victor. Sounds like a Frankenstein. I wonder. Now, Victor from Darkstalkers, right? That's where my brain went. Back from the dead. Please stop pumping that wall. Appreciate if you didn't come back to life. Bingo, bango. Ah, oh, shit. Holy! Holy God! I'm even looking at up here, huh? Okay, I'm gonna go back down. These death machines are something else. Shit be spinning. Oh, 
Huh, funny. Yeah, they put items in some pretty clever places in here, you know? I like it a lot. Oh, God! Uh, riddle time. Let's get it wrong. Another fine day in the city of Krat. But I wonder, my friend, just where you've been? Ah. Oh. <laughs> if your goal is to study the human condition, there's no better way than my riddle position. You know how it is. It's time for a quiz. Today's riddle might have you over the barrel. But get this one wrong and you will be in peril. So, answer correctly or tango with danger. But when you quiz with the king, danger is no stranger. Now, listen closely and heed the king's speech for the answer to this one will stay out of reach. Think about this. Whatever it takes. What cannot be used before it breaks? Egg? Correct! You were once such a fool, yet you've gotten so glower. I'm as happy as a parent. In this city, there are those who wish to crack the shell and be reborn. How about you? Can you awaken and break free of the shell that is your puppet's body? <laughs> oh, it's a frightfully difficult question, huh? So, I'll reward you with a hint. At the grand exhibition, you now must behold all ten fingertips of the woman of cold. Look close before she escapes your notice. Then I'm done with you. Mostly. The fingertips of the cold woman. Huh. What? Behold the fingertips of the cold woman at the Grand Exhibition. I think it was that one on the... Uh, what's it called? On the bridge, I think. What the shit? Were you a robot? No. Almost looks like a puzzle room. They're seemingly human, but... Weird. Too weird. Sharp pipe.
exploding something in here. Victor? He's Dudley. Oh my god damn, he's Dudley and he's pissed. Holy crap, I tried to parry a command grab. God damn, this guy's crazy. <laughs> so these people are like modified. Somehow with this creeper juice. Which might be related to... Might be related to the plague? Does this open up? Saint Tess. Big shortcut. Weapon. Uh oh, boss area. We made it. Ergo hearts connect, connect minds with wavelengths. That transparent fullness where lies cannot exist. Is that a new true world? Or a forced prison? Maybe I don't... Maybe I won't be able to think free. Laughing in my head or running away. Um, I need to go take a gander at... It's boss time. I need to go take a gander at that one puzzle note we got. I also need to replenish. I also need to drop some more souls. Or not die. I think I need to turn everything I got into, um, like, fire shit. Right? Legion arm, fire, grindstone, this acid, good against. I'll try acid, you know? See how it goes. I can also get the, uh, potentially buy the acid... Uh, that's good against humans. Okay. I might have to change this. But we'll see.
Okay. The house of I think it was for this guy. No matter what fate brings us, I will be at Lady Antonia's side. Serving her is my duty. Welcome to Hotel Krat. This is a supply box, officially approved by the city of Krat. I shall open it and add it to the hotel shop. No matter what, Thank serving you. welcome. Whoa! Whoa! Damn, there's some very good stuff in here now. There's some uh, very good upgrade materials in here now. I think I, I think I also got a quartz I can use. I, I know see. My way around. Half moonstoners, not uh, half moonstones, are what I'm looking for, and then full moonstone of the covenant. Okay. Let me go, um, pop some ergo. No Should be enough. What, sir, be welcome to so now I can go upstairs and get this big upgrade. Much weapon do you fancy right now? I've been using, uh, the wrench and... The, uh, what's it called? The Seven Coil Spring Sword. But the wrench is just so beefy with my build that it is... It does massive damage. It's crazy. Okay, no more lying. Uh... Guard regain. You can also. Oh God! It takes three. Three. Add fable slots. Guard regain is very nice. Hmm. Fruit cubes. Now. Now. Nah. I have two quarts. Damn. ones in here are critical. Don't do it. Don't do it. Why? More pulse cells. Seems good. Two quarts in phase one or what is actually what the hell is phase four? Can I even look at it? I can't. is also good. Enhanced heal. Uh, where is that? Enhanced attribute resistance. Enhanced special resistance. Charge fable when reviving. These are all weird. Grindstone effect duration. Um... Hmm. 
Seems good for what I got going right now. Lowers damage of charge attack, Fable Arts, Enhance. Lowers guard retain reduction, lower damage when discharged. Uh, lowers charge attack, stamina consumption? Doesn't seem bad. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Unlocked! What do we got in here? More amulet slots. Damn. Perfect guard cause stiffness? Breaks the enemy's stance when a perfect guard is successful? That is so good. That is so incredibly good. More fable slots? My god, dude. All perfect parries cause stagger? That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, but I mean, still, it's an interrupt of some kind. It stops them. Seems very good. Okay, let's go whacketh this bosseth. Yeah, I gotta look up that. That's the Grand Exhibition woman, right? Oh, it's a boss. We know it. We know it. I mean, is this our second or third boss of the night? Can't remember. Welcome to my grave. He speaks. This is where evolution becomes real. Oh, really? To me, I am victim. The champion. Running at me. Did you just smack the shit out of me like right at the start. Okay, fascinating. This guy's burly. Dude, where do I get to attack? I think the sword might be better for this. Oh my god, you dodge?
Okay. Oh god. Literally Bane. The new world belongs to us. Back to Rise. Oh, I tried to get the, the fancy parry. Okay, he's a, he's a big boy. I, I'm not able to get multiple attacks in a row, so I think I'm just going to try to go for Big Bonk in this situation, even though I'm fairly sure he's going to be weak against fire. Fairly sure. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say I can light him on fire, right? Let's go with that. I don't know if the acid did that much. Flame grindstone. And everything generally is pretty weak to fire in this game. Is this guy a puppet or a zombie? Oh, uh, he's a zombie. Technically, but he's like... a mutated zombie. Open your eyes! Gaze upon the new world! They, uh, I think the sword was doing better. Oh my god, I tried to escape. Yeah, it gets burninated. It gets burninated. The new world belongs to us. I'm torching you.
All right. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to say sword, right? To be real, I think sword is actually better for this fight. It, uh, it's going well. Uh, and I need to keep it on fire, right? Uh. Fire abrasive. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, the wrench was big damage, but to be honest, uh, I think he's weaker against, like, slashing. So, this works better. And, uh, no kidding, my lighting him on fire was also working out very good. Where's my legion charge? Put that down there. I got the crazy parry on this one too. I might be able to get him with it. To the followers of the truth. Fairly decent start, I'd say. Healing. What is this? What is this? Oh my god damn.
Let's go, dude. Let's go. Why be humble? I am evolved. A better man. What the hell? Story? I'm surprised you defeated Victor. Geppetto's creations are truly marvelous. Ah, but where are my manners? My name is Simon Manus, a leader among alchemists. I've known your father for a long time. We used to be colleagues, you know. Geppetto didn't understand that the petrification disease can strengthen humankind. Locks into conventional thinking, I'm afraid. But even he can't stop such a magnificent discovery. It's the door to a new world. You've seen this place with your own eyes. Truly inspiring, is it not? What do you suppose our cure has created here? You're short-sighted, just like your father. But you speak the truth as you see it, just like everyone else. We, on the other hand, are visionaries. We understand the petrification disease on a deeper level. The disease does not signify death. It's the process of purifying a person's essence. A purified human who overcomes the petrification disease will gain a strengthened body and a mind free of lies. The essence is ergo. Yes, the ergo you use as your power was once a human being. Our undertaking is to help others experience this purification through this elixir. Truly, it's an honor. Ergo's power can do even more. In the hands of the Awakened, its abilities are limitless. We already have the means to control that power. Power beyond your imagination. So while you wallow in a pathetic past, we step forward into humanity's future on the Isle of Alchemists. You're welcome to come to the island and witness our triumph firsthand. Or perhaps you'll make a futile effort to stop us. <sighs> Maybe the Santa statue can help you. In any case, good luck. Standing against evolution must be exhausting. Not to mention demoralizing. Keep your chin up, puppet, and I'll see you soon. No one can say that Simon Manus, leader of the alchemists, isn't hospitable. Subversion statue. Yeah, there's the key. You just gonna hang out up there? Okay. Cool. Uh, where is this going now? That's back to the front. Oh, he's le he left now. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of long talks in this. Where characters just like talk for a very long time. The Isle of Alchemists. According to the guide, Vanini visited that place. That's something, I guess.
luggage. Oh, we're taking it. Oh, who the hell? Ciao, Bello. It seems you and I share a strong connection. Ugh. Talking to an alchemist is like talking to a brick wall. That's also an alchemist. Brother, you should say hello to your friend. But it is true that we are in something of a bind. We're going to need to consult with our old friend. You got that right, sister. Our pal is sure to help us. We didn't behave that badly at his last shindig. I hope. A moment, please. My young brother here is slowly but surely losing his very sight, his windows to the world, to a terrible, slow working illness. That is why I seek the gold coin fruit. It's set to work miracles. And do I ever know? Nah. The alchemists give us just enough to keep him going, but not enough nah. to cure. And never what they promised. We can't rely on those crucible kissing wizards. Please, don't make me beg. He needs this. No. Besides, That's bullshit. For a fellow who raided the Black Rabbit Brotherhood's den and walked out in one piece, it'll be as easy as eating your weight in bumbaloni. Please, the gold coin fruit is the only thing that helps. Are you there? They moved the tree away Can from these me? people. Please, the gold coin fruit is the only thing that helps. Can you spare any? As a personal oh. favor? Oh, they, I thought they wanted to know where the tree is. Yeah, I'll give you one. We knew you were a true friend and generous. <laughs> That's right. I liked you from the start, you know. Just had a feeling. If you felt otherwise, that wasn't me. <laughs> if they wanted to know where the tree was, when I'm going to kill him. excited or just feels happy, he gets chatty. But he really is grateful. We both are. On that note, I hate to borrow and run, but we have another request from the alchemist to take care of, so we will be staying behind. You'll need to go on without us, so I suppose this is farewell. I won't ever forget your kindness. Here, a small token, but it's a gift from hmm. the heart. Now go. Oh, it was actually kind of decent. Oh, wow. It was actually not bad. Hmm. It was worth it. I'm gonna put this record on. A record? Okay, we cool. Not difficult or dangerous. Just give this to Alidoro. I give it to him myself, but he's in the barren swamp now. He'll understand the significance of this gift. I know. I know my way around a well. Still ain't got none enough to do that. This is a good song. This game's friggin' amazing. Jesus. This game is friggin' amazing. God damn. Friggin game is amazing. So you met Simon. I've been dreading this conversation. I should have told you about Simon earlier. But it's the sort of thing you have to see to believe. 
He is the most dangerous man in Crawford. He spreads mayhem and death through delusion he calls evolution. Simon wants to evolve a new world in Crot. A horrible future. Even worse than the carcass monsters we already face. That's why I woke you up. If you can't save Krat from Simon, no one can. Find the Isle of Alchemists. Someone must know how to get there. I will help you as much as I can. Of course. Please, save Krat. Whatever choice you make, I shall wait for you. That is why I'm a listener. To bear witness. I've always wondered why I'm a listener. Why this power came to me in this time and place. But now I understand. Ergo reached out, wanting someone to hear it was once human. Or maybe it wanted someone to remember it. Perhaps a god or an angel. Who knows? But the alchemists have tainted everything. The gold coin tree is a pathetic creature they created from the listeners. Like many of their creations, it's tragic, but useful. You can control Ergo with gold coin fruits. The sad tears of those who became trees. If they get the chance, the alchemists might force me to make such a tree for them. Or something even more tragic. Don't let the sacrifice of the alchemists' victims be in vain. With the fruit, they lend their strength to you. Collect gold coin fruits, and let the Saintess statue inspire you to victory. You honor their sacrifice, their grief, and tears. Whatever choice you make, Game is good. Game is very good. Uh, Motivity is all the way up. I guess I can also start working on capacity right now. What? People have no ideas. Thanks for keeping me. Where did he say he was going? Is that was that the same guy that's in the swamp? Okay. He went to the swamp. I was thinking it was the gold tree guy that went to the swamp. This game really is fantastic. It honestly is. It's really good. It's kind of unbelievable. Yeah, it's wild to me how good it is. You know, it's kind of insane. 
It isn't a Souls like. This is a Souls game. <laughs> I mean, so far, I think this is definitely up there for, like, hella Game of the Year material. Unless it really, it really like, jumps the shark in the end. I don't know, dude. This is ridiculously good. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like this is a Souls-like. I feel like this is the first game that, no, this just feels like a Souls game. It doesn't feel like it's a Souls-like. It just feels like a Souls game. get this unlocked really fast. And let's go unlock our, um... Oh, that's right. Did I get an un a new thing for this guy? Lady Antonia has her illness has worsened. Perhaps because she lost hope. I fear we might lose her soon. Lady Antonia cautions against it, to be sure. But I still believe the gold coin fruit is our last hope. I have heard about an alchemist who knows how to use that most miraculous of medicines. Please find a way to treat her. I have to talk to her again. Hold on a second. Hang on a sec, you. Hold on a sec, you. People have no thanks for keep. I'm an old friend of Geppetto's. His son is like family to me. Make yourself at home. You're always welcome here. If you have any questions, ask. Wait, who was that? Who was it that we wanted us to talk to? Oh, it's the alchemist guy next to the tree. Okay. Blue face guy. the cure for the petrification disease coming along glad you asked it's going well thanks to you S -s sadly it cannot cure everyone completely victims who have progressed too far have already lost organ function and there's no way to restore that even if we eliminate the petrification disease they won't last long their passing might be less painful than petrification though are you sure? I can make a cure, Mr. Stalker, but I leave the choice to you. A longer but painful life, or a quicker but peaceful end. I'll make the cure if you give me one gold coin fruit. The cure isn't exactly stable. Give it to the patient as soon as possible. People have no idea. Thanks for keeping. I guess I should give it to... what's his name? I believed in you, and my belief has been rewarded. She can be cured. It feels like a dream. The possibility of imminent death, though. 
Why won't pain ever leave her alone? I cannot make this choice. Every option is painful. I cannot know what's best for her. What would... What would you choose? Ignoring her pain wouldn't be right. Thank you so much. No matter what happens, I will accept it. Drink it yourself. To the medicine. Please accept this token of my gratitude. No matter what fate brings us, serving her. I wonder if something recycles when we leave and come back. Let's go to that Trinity door. Jesus, where is it? Upper stage. You never got the key though? What? I answered the question. Oh, I have to do the second riddle. The secondary riddle. That's right. This thing. Or... Shit! Uh... Shit! It's somewhere. Right. Behold the fingertips of the cold woman at the grand exhibition. Where'd it go? Does this reorganize? Am I drunk? There it is. Switch display. Oh my god, there's nothing else. Behold the fingertips of the cold woman at the Grand Exhibition. Okay. <laughs> All right. Stuff is coming back to me. I remember saying at some point that there was a puzzle room. Hold up. Wait a minute. You can do a system reset using the Saintess of Mercy. Gold foin fruit can be consumed to reset your level P organ or legion arm. The more times you reset, the more gold coin fruit is required. Ah. So they moved this. Whatever choice you make, I 
specially. You, puppet who dreams of new life, offer up a gold coin fruit. Oh, this device must be powered by gold coin fruit. Yeah. A new life for an old puppet. This is cool. Damn. Oh, pop this. Now. Ah, shit, oh God. I, Adriana, recorded for the brothers and sisters. Uh, praise Pistris, the one who will swallow even God. Listen, my brothers and sisters, I, Pistrist, shall tell you about the world's secrets. In the beginning, it was a wish. It had to be a wish. It was the only paradise perishable humanized humans can have. For thousands of years, humans wished per wishes perished, but one reached a star. That was a miracle. More so because that star was a very good one. The star answered the humans and descended to Earth, then everything began. Lore! Matthew, thank you. Okay, before I go get shot again, figure out where the hell I gotta go. There was a room somewhere. A. Hey. Why the hell couldn't you just give it to me? This looks like a puzzle room, I said. Now we go to the Trinity thing. That's so bright. Oops, wait a minute. It was in here, right? There we go. They pass through the door. It's time to understand the true meaning of the three pillars. Performance of the day. The greatest singer in Krat has arrived. It's a shame she can't sing because her what? Her tongue was cut out. That seems. Belford Superior Radiation Converter and Quartz. Damn, I didn't get a costume this time.
Yeah, acid damage goes down a bunch, but it's huge on fire reduction and better physical. Seems quite good. No new costume, though. Fortunate. Not as good as the other ones, right? But the quartz is great. Quartz is genuinely good. We're gonna need all of that shit, you know? Damn, what time is it? Oh my god, I've been streaming this game for seven hours? What the hell? Whoa, dude, whoa. Holy crap. That's wild. What the fuck? Is a defensive thing? Cool. To endure any attack. The more you hit, the more it spins. Does it eventually wear out? Oh, it's got a number! Oh my god, four? Four rev is the highest. Oh, this thing is cool as shit. This needs a different handle. Right? This thing's cool as shit. It just needs a different handle. I know my way around. So now... Exploding pickaxe handle. Huh. You don't have to disassemble the craft? All right. <laughs> All right. Great sword handle? Nah. Crot police baton handle. This already has an A in motivity, meaning I can bump that up to S. Right? Oh, I didn't make it, of course. I know my way around. Yeah, 
And the motivity of this is just weird. Motivity and tech and C? It seems odd. I think I just disassembled my other one. Yeah, I did. So that... Yeah, seems nice. I know my way around. What move set would be good for this, though? the question I just gotta see what the heck this thing with the baton is actually like Cool. It's funny. I know my way around. Just messing around right now. Yeah, you know what? Let's try something actually crazy. Weird is not, it's like actually making the dummy attack me faster. Oh, funny.
How funny. I know my Slabbing. Oh, and it lights up. Did it light up with... Did it do that? No, that was something else. It's Y attack was... This is just the boom hammer, right? This is, this is just the boom hammer. Goofy shit am I coming up with? Wow. This actually feels like it would be good with the, um... the spinning axe thing, right? Circular electric chainsaw hand scales with advance. That's so weird. What does advance even do again? Is that the one? Is that the handle it actually came with? It's elemental damage. Oh, so I can see why that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking wrench. Um... There's a knife move set that I don't have yet either. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, we checked out the fire axe. It was okay. It was okay.
All right. See, like the goofy combinations, you know. The house of Ani. The house of. I know my way around a weapon. Obviously, it's going to scale on tech, right? Yeah, obviously. Most, most things feel like they scale on tech. Damn, that's no upgrade. Got a rapier move set. So goofy. Cool. I mean, it's neat that this exists, right? The dagger itself has like 30% crit. Gotcha. Gotcha. I'm, I'm just loving it. I'm exhausted though. Right. I am exhausted though. This game is great. Can't believe I just dropped like seven hours into it, man. What the hell?